The U.S. Army has introduced its first major armored vehicle in two decades, the M10 Booker Combat Vehicle. Army Brass rolled out the model last week to coincide with the service's 240th birthday. It was named to honor two soldiers who died in combat, Piot Robert Booker, an infantryman killed during World War II, and Staff Shade Stephen Booker, a tanker who was killed in April 2003 during the invasion of Iraq. Formerly known as the Mobile Protected Firepower, the M10 Booker was named after two American soldiers who died six years apart. The stories of these two hero soldiers articulate the exact needs for the M10 Booker combat vehicle, U.S. Army acquisition official Doug Bush said. Not classified as a tank. The M10 Booker is a tracked vehicle built by General Dynamics that provides a mobile, direct offensive fire capability to the U.S. Army's Infantry Brigade combat teams. Although it has similarities with the M1 Abrams main battle tank, the service clarified that it has decided against classifying it as a tank for several undisclosed reasons. Like the Abrams, the M10 is manned by four crew and boasts a heavy 105mm direct fire cannon. It also features an enhanced thermal viewer, a lightweight hull and turret, and a modern diesel engine for improved performance. However, the Army revealed that the Booker is much lighter and less expensive than the well-known main battle tank. The first M10 Bookers are expected to be handed over to the U.S. Army in November, with initial operational tests scheduled for late 2024. Once operational, the service will build M10 battalions and integrate them into its light infantry brigade combat teams, including airborne units.